we're here today to test a theory that I developed after previous experiments. In this theory, I'm testing to see what the effect of a trajectory other than 90 degrees will have on the projection of blood stain patterns using high force from a firearm. In other words, we typically fire our projectiles at a 90 degree angle into our blood source and it creates a nice even group of stains, high force impact spattered stains around the hole where the projectile passes through. So now if we fire at a steep trajectory we're going to fire somewhere in between there and we're going to measure the uh, trajectory with the trajectory rod once the experiment's complete. Where will the blood stains be? Will they continue to follow the projectile and continue to form a nice even pattern around the hole where the projectile passes through the target? Or will the blood stains be projected more in a perpendicular angle, closer to 90 degrees from the blood source to the canvas? So we have our blood source here. We have these stanchions. Okay, there's a window in this plywood. This is an 8-inch distance. This is a canvas. And we're going to try this out. I'm going to be using an old favorite. 1911 Colt 45 caliber ACP with ball rounds in it. Okay, we're trying to eliminate any kind of variables. Right now there's no wind. We have ball ammo, so there's no inconsistency with the expansion of a hollow point type of uh, projectile. The apparatus that we're going to be using and firing into has been leveled and plumbed, so gravity is going to be pulling straight down. And without those variables, we should have a pretty clean experiment. Okay, so here we have the entrance into the blood source. We're going to use this rod to determine the trajectory. Okay, so the, the rod is hitting three points. It's hitting the uh, hole in the blood source, the hole in the canvas, and the hole in the plywood. We're going to use a speed square to get the angle of trajectory on this. It's in a tight place, 8 inches. Okay, with the speed square right at the entrance into the canvas, we have a 45 degree angle. Because this is level and plumb, we can use a square 90 degrees to get our angles. And we're going to go 90 degrees from the exit hole in the blood source straight across to the canvas. So here's our finished pro product. This line here will be 90 degrees from the bullet hole exit of the blood source and we can see our concentration of stains. There is one area of high force impact spatter that is above the 90 degree line. And then just below the 90 degree line there is a high concentration of high force impact spatter. All of the very fine mist like high impact spatter stains are above where the projectile went into the canvas. You can see the entrance, you can see the oval 
shape of the projectile hole due to the angle of impact, the trajectory. 